What is up, YouTube? This is not Call of Duty. This is Battlefield 4. This is Battlefield 4 on the PS3. This is Battlefield 4 on the PS3 that I recorded using the DVR function from the PS4. It looks amazing. If I don't know what YouTube is going to do to the video quality of this video. It's probably not going to do it any justice whatsoever. But it is amazing. Um, I started. I should have started recording at the beginning of the match, but actually this is pretty close to where I just started the, the game. I, I came in this game late, and um, this is literally the very first multiplayer experience I've had with Battlefield 4. Um, I, you, you'll see like there's certain parts like this guy f dies and I'm like, I stop here. I'm like trying to pick up his gun. I'm like, how do I pick up his gun? I don't think you can pick up guns. I don't, I don't know how that works. Or maybe you can pick up certain guns. I'm not sure. But I'm trying to get used to the mechanics. Uh, I played some of the campaign, but the curiosity got the better of me. So I had to go and actually play the multiplayer. It is phenomenal. Um, I will say that I played a couple games of Conquest after this with a friend. And I had no clue what was happening. I, I'm. It was like, it was like putting a mouse into like an engine block and telling him to fix it. I had no idea what was going on. I don't even know what that analogy means. But team deathmatch I can handle. So I'm gonna play some of that to really get used to the game mechanics and everything. Anybody who says that there's no action in in Battlefield it doesn't know what they're talking about. So the way that the maps are designed, they make the maps shrink down to the game types that you play or expand to other game types. So there's only a finite area that you can go in. This map is not much bigger than most other Call of Duty maps. In fact, it's maybe smaller than some of the ones on Ghost. And, um, you know, it's I guess it just takes a little bit of time to get used to. Uh, I really need to find out, like, how the guns work and which guns are good. Now, I'm, like, still using, like, the default loadout. I didn't update or change anything that was on the gun. Again, this was literally the first multiplayer experience that I had with this game. So... If you have a PS4 or an Xbox One, I don't know what the difference is between the Xbox One and PS4 versions. I will say this, if you have a PS4 and you're on the fence as to whether or not to get this game, don't be on the fence. Get it. It is amazing. I haven't I haven't played too much of it and I'm sure there are things that I'm going to find along the way. Like, for instance, the party system. After this, I played some games of Conquest, as I was saying. There's no there's no way to like invite friends to your your game. You have to find out what server there's on and then log into that server if there's a spot. And then you might end up on the other team. And if uh, you end up on the other team, then you can change the teams at the beginning of the next game. But once you're in a squad, you can kind of stay in a squad. So it just takes a little bit of work. It may take a couple games to get through it. Conquest games are also very long. Um, as you can see, the game ended there. Again, I came in late. We lost 67 to 20. And... Um, uh, you know, at the end of this, it kind of shows your experience and stuff that you get. Uh, and I, I guess I get experience for using the guns so I can level them up or you can unlock other guns as you level up. That I'm not even 100% sure of. All I know is that I came in this game late and I went 11-2. and two. I came in second on my team, so I, I figured that was pretty good. But give it a shot and let me know what you think. Peace out.